كليفت بالات امبريولوجي The face is formed of five processes, the frontonasal above and the midline, and the two maxillary processes below it, and two mandibular processes below it. Palatal anatomy. Palatal uh, embryological components. The frontonasal process in front and midline there are two maxillary processes right and left behind it. Mechanism of cleft palate embryogenesis. Failure of fusion of the frontonasal with one axillary process. Failure of fusion of the frontonasal with both axillary processes or failure of fusion of the two maxillary processes, partial or complete. Failure of fusion of the three processes. Classification of cleft palate. According to the extent, it may be partial or complete. The complete might be bipartite formed of two parts or tripartite formed of three parts. According to the association, it might be isolated cleft palate alone or combined cleft palate with cleft lip. Partial clefts, anterior partial clefts, unilateral alveolar, bilateral alveolar, unilateral palatal, bilateral palatal, posterior par partial cleft. Photographs of cleft palate. Complete cleft bipartite or tripartite. The bipartite is formed of two parts. The tripartite is formed of three parts. Cleft palate extent. If it is partial or if it is complete, the complete may be bipartite formed of two parts or tripartite formed of three parts. Photographs. The association isolated cleft uh, palate alone or cleft lip with cleft palate. Cleft uh, palate problems. Psychiatric problem, feeding problem, cosmetic problem, uh, recurrent attacks of chest infection, hearing problem, teething problem, speech problem, and intelligence problem. Psychic problems early for the parents and relatives, later on for the patients. Family psychic problem. Feeding problem. Failure of induction of negative intraoral pressure will lead to failure of suckling, will lead to failure of breastfeeding, and finally will lead to failure of normal growth. Treatment of the feeding problem. Breast milk collection using manual expression or manual pumps or electric pump. Breast milk feeding using a spoon, a dropper, a syringe, or a special tetanus bottle. Respiratory infection. Reflux of milk, food, saliva through the palatal defect from the oral cavity to the nasal cavity will lead to destruction of the nasal nasopharyngeal epithelium and the from the nasal to the nasopharynx, to the nasopharynx, and that this will lead to respiratory infection, upper respiratory infection, followed by lower respiratory infection. The oral epithelium is a stratified squamous epithelium, non-carotenizing, but in the nasal epithelium it is pseudo-stratified columnar epithelium which is very delicate 
and easily to be destroyed. Reflux of food and saliva from the mouth to the uh, nose and pharynx through the cleft uh, defect. This will lead to sticky and tube infection, upper respiratory tract infection, infection of the sticky and tube, pharyngeal tympanic tube. Transmission of the infection through the stachian tube to the middle ear, leading to development of otitis media. Repeated attacks of otitis media leads to conductive deafness and in turn hearing loss. Recurrent attacks of otitis media will lead to conductive deafness, and the conductive deafness will lead to mutism. And the baby having conductive deafness and mutism will have a low intelligence. A palatal obturator for prophylaxis of hearing loss. This is the cleft palate, and this is the uh, prosthetic palatal obturator. They use during feeding only or continuously. Some of them may need lubricants only for prophylactic use before surgery. The advantages of the palatal obturator there is no oronasal reflux, no respiratory infection, no hearing loss, no alteration of the intelligence. It diminishes the gap of the cleft. The disadvantage of the palatal obturator num, <clears throat> needs it needs intelligent mothers, it needs special care on application, it needs special care on cleaning, it may cause ulcerations, it may hide organisms or infections behind it. Cosmetic problems Isolated cleft palate, combined cleft lip and palate. Uh, this problem is not clearly evident to other people in case of isolated cleft palate. Teething problem. Teeth overcrowding, twisting, and maldirection. Orthodontic treatment after that, before and after treatment. Uh, speech problems, defective pronunciations of letters, English letters needing palatal competence like E, G, K, Q, and X. In Arabic uh, language, the letters Kim, Ha, Kha, Ain, Ghain, Kaf, Kaf. Speech problem prophylaxis. Early surgical correction of the anomaly before the age of the start of speech, which, which starts at the age of two years, this avoids development of speech problems. Treatment timing at the age of two years before the uh, start of speech. Surgical treatment ideas, paring down of the edges, closure of the defect into a nasal layer and an oral layer. Good luck and best wishes.